The following audio is from Seaport Church of Gloucester. More information about Seaport Church of Gloucester is available at www.seaportchurch.org. lesson last night, and I'm getting a, a young couple ready for their wedding, and so it's very exciting, and uh, I have another student uh, who has been married for 28 years, so I said, what's the, you know, what do you think is the magic ingredient for a good solid marriage, and she said, don't pay attention to what your husband's doing, <laughs> and then she says, no, she says, you know, I think it's, I think it's patience, tolerance, and forgiveness. And I thought that was great. So when my wedding couple came in, of course I asked them, you know, I've got the tip of the day for you. Would you like it? And they said yes. And uh, so you know, uh, I told them, and you know, they liked it. They thought it was great too. But anyway, after that lesson last night, I went up to uh, Cafe Bishko downtown, got a, a tofu yogurt. And uh, after I was done, I went up to pay for it. And Mark the owner said to me, he said, you know what, Lee? He says you. Your countenance is radiant. He said, the light of God is in you. And I left and I said, you know, that people weren't saying those kinds of things to me a while back. You know, and I just felt very good about it. Like I told God, I said, I, I can't think of a better compliment that, that it could be given. And it was just an awareness that, you know, I, I, I need the light of God in my life. I really need him. So anyway, years ago, back in... Uh, I think it was 1996, I was up in Manchester, New Hampshire, trying to put my life together, and I had uh, Merrimack River runs through downtown Manchester, so I had skipped over the rocks to one of the islands to catch some sun, do a little reading, and uh, I fell asleep. And uh, uh, it had rained uh, bullets, it had rained bullets the night before, and downstream a little bit there was, there was a dam and I, they had opened it back up. So while I was asleep, the river was rising. So when it came time to skip over the rocks again, they, were, they, were, they weren't there. So having no idea how undercurrents work, I said, well, I'll just, I'll just swim across the river. You know, so I started to do that, and I went out about 15 feet, and all of a sudden I was swept down the river for about a half a mile. And, uh, I could feel the force of the undercurrent. I mean, it was, it was very, very powerful. And I just instinctively knew to surrender to the current. You know, don't fight it, Lee. So I got rid of my backpack, pulled up my sneakers, and I just allowed it to take me downstream. And for some reason, just before I got to a treacherous area, I veered off to the left for no reason. I was able to grab onto a vine and uh, pull myself up. And I was rescued, the fire truck was there. Uh, you know, the, the, the newspaper was there, it ended up being on the front page. And uh, while I was waiting to be rescued, the, the fire truck was lowering the big bucket, you know, to rescue you. And they're yelling down to me, Lee, are you okay? Are you okay? And I said, I'm fine, how are you? Because what was going on was, uh, uh, there was a calm. And I felt the presence. And I felt it for two days. It was the presence of God. And, uh, you know, I went back there a, a while later to take a look. There's no reason I should have get off to the left. You know, so I, I believe it was divine intervention, again, in my life, and my life was spared. But in the next couple of days, you know, I meditated on that. And, you know, again, I, I realized that, uh, you know, I, I spoke with the fire chief, and he says, you know, it's amazing that you survived it because of the underbrush. You know, you're lucky to get pulled under. 
but I was aware that, again, I surrendered to the power of the, of the current of the river. And I think that might have helped spare my life. So as I was meditating on that, I saw the parallel to surrendering to the power of God in our lives. Getting in the flow of the Spirit, like Flavio was going to talk about. And I said, you know, who am I? Uh, you know, God is so powerful. And, he, you know, his power flows in a certain direction. You know, and who am I to fight that? You know, so the idea was to, uh, you know, really come to realize that it's really all about surrender. Again, I can't, he can, I'll think I'll let him. And coming to a posture within myself where I recognize that I can only get so far in my life in my own strength, in my own self-efforts, that I truly need that light of God that I was hoping to be last night to help me stay in the flow of uh, God in my life. So anyway, out of that, the song was birthed. Mm -hmm. Oh, 